Have you noticed that certain functions our bodies perform are not intentional or executed consciously? We are not aware of the intricacies going on inside our heads or of all the connections that are made when there is an emotion or a thought. Is this really the case? Neurofeedback, the key to manage our brain. Our brain contains billions of neurons and these seem impossible to map and to locate the origin of a problem. We only have proof that since the 1930s, data exchanges between the neurons produce a small electric magnetic field that we can measure and study. This is called electroencephalography, or EEG. The QEEG neurofeedback is the study of the measurement of the brain's electrical activity. Neurofeedback entails applying electrodes to the client's head, which enable it to read the electrical signals emitted by the brain. These signals represent the mental state in which we find ourselves. For example, when relaxed with closed eyes, the dominant frequency of the signals emitted by the brain is generally between 8 and 13 Hz. But how does this work? Neurofeedback informs our brains through visual and auditory feedback to learn to correct signals spontaneously and rectify the waves and connections that are not adapted to the person. It's a bit like having a teacher next to you who points out errors and allows the person to correct them. A session works like this. We put a hat with several receptors attached to your head. We also attach clips on each earlobe, which serve as reference points, grounding points, and are able to measure brain activity on demand. Each receptor will take the electrical activity that is recorded and compare it to the neutral activity measured from the clips on each earlobe. And then the session begins. It is entirely steered by the computer. Every time signals indicate the beginning of turbulence by a strong variation of amplitude, the program cuts the sound of the music or interrupts the video game or movie briefly. It is this micro-cut that constitutes feedback and allows the brain to return to present and thus unconsciously learn to stabilize the brain signals. The brain then reorganizes its neurons little by little to optimize the passage of a good signal. All of this is thanks to our neuroplasticity, the same one that allows us to do neurofeedback every day within our normal environment. The training is progressive and the changes are dynamic, and when a modification is made, it lasts for life. The brain is a muscle, and like other muscles, if we make it repeat the same exercises several times, these end up becoming automatic. Similar to a high-level athlete who eternally repeats the same actions until they become as natural as possible. As with sports, we improve with practice. So with these brainwave modifications, changes can continue to be produced without the need for the device. Neurofeedback normally treats stress, ADHD, anxiety, sleeping troubles, depression, autism, etc. However, it is a technique designed to optimize the brain, so it is not necessary to have neurological or psychological problems to see beneficial effects. In the area of training potential, neurofeedback can be an employee without limits. It is also interesting for professional athletes, entrepreneurs, the average worker and also artistic practices, as it is useful to improve attention, memory and creativity.